video we are going to learn about the and synthesis of pyrrole there are many methods to synthesis this pyrrole and this and synthesis is very very important and i have already explained about the polar synthesis of the pyrrole and other synthesis of pyrrole in my video please check the link of that video in my description and please watch it also now coming to this and synthesis of pyrrole we need beta keto ester and the primary amine and the alpha halo ketone c is the beta keto ester primary amine and alpha halo ketone here now i will write the structure of this beta keto ester c it is having the structure like this that is c2h5 o co ch2 co and ch3 c2h5o c double bond o ch2 c double bond o ch3 this is the structure of the beta keto ester so we know that it is a ester here it is the alpha and it is the beta here why i have named this as alpha means alpha means the first carbon that is attached to the functional group it is the functional group so it is the first carbon that is attached to the functional group so it is alpha and the second carbon which is which is attached is known as beta so it is the beta keto ester and next one is a primary amine that is nh3 is a nitrogen is having the lone pair of electrons next comes the alpha halo ketone that is ch2 c double bond o ch3 for this ch2 cl is attached so it is the functional group it is the alpha carbon atom for the alpha carbon atom cl is attached so it is the halo so it is having the name alpha halo ketone this is about the three things which are required for the synthesis of this pyrrole now in the first step we are only using this beta keto ester and the primary amine i will explain this mechanism in the easiest way possible before that please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and support us to do more videos now coming to mechanism of this let's start the mechanism by taking this beta keto ester and the primary amine for my convenience purpose i will write the structure of this beta keto ester like this that is c2 h5 coo ch2 for this carbon c double bond o and is the ch3 is attached so c is c2 h5 and c double bond o o and ch2 is a c double bond o and is the ch3 so i have written it for my convenience purpose in the first step what happens means here the double bond which is present will move towards the oxygen so the oxygen will get the minus charge whereas the carbon will get the positive charge why because carbon should have four bonds around it but it is only having three bonds so i will write the structure here that is c2h5 coo ch2 here is the carbon so it will gain a positive charge here oxygen is gaining a minus charge and is a carbon is having a positive charge why because it is having only three bonds here for this what is going to added is that is nh3 now uh, nitrogen is consisting of a lone pair of electrons now here is a important step takes place here nucleophile attack on this carbon happens see this lone pair of electrons will move towards the carbon to form a bond and next step is the next structure is that is c2h5coo ch2 and for this carbon here c ch3 and oxygen is having the minus charge and this nitrogen is having three hydrogens now here you can see this lone pair of electrons are bonded or forming a bond with carbon this is the next step for this step you can directly say nucleophile uh, nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl 
carbon or the nucleophilic attack on the carbon so let's write the step that is nucleophilic nucleophilic attack on the carbon now here you can observe this this nitrogen has lost its lone pair of electrons to form a bond with carbon now again to attain stability it it requires lone pair of electrons how this lone pair of electrons will come back means see this hydrogen will form a bond with oxygen and it will become oh so again here the nitrogen will gain back its lone pair of electrons see i will write the structure here that is c2h5 coo ch2 and here is a carbon is a ch3 and it is not changed so here is one of the hydrogen is moved towards the oxygen so it will become oh and this nitrogen will have only two hydrogens so here the nitrogen will gain back its lone pair of electrons so to attain stability this step has happened so here the hydrogen will move towards the oxygen and the lone pair of electrons will again come for the this nitrogen so this lone pair of electrons are written here let's write the reason here to attain uh, or to gain back the lone pair of electrons lone pair of electrons on nitrogen this step has happened now the next step is removal of the water molecule so here is the one of the hydrogen is removed and here is the oh is removed in the form of h2o now we'll get a structure like this that is c2 h5 coo ch i have written ch because one of the hydrogen is removed in the form of this h2o so for this here we will get a double bond double bond for this carbon and here is the carbon ch3 and here is the nh2 this nitrogen is having the lone pair of electrons so after the removal of water molecule the structure is like this so see here oh and h is removed so sorry oh and this h is removed so c2h5 coo ch c ch3 nh2 this is the structure we are getting now up to now we have done the reaction of beta keto ester and the primary amine now we are taking this alpha halo ketone we already know the structure of this alpha halo ketone so let's write the structure that is ch2 c double bond o and ch3 here is the cl is attached it is the alpha halo ketone now what happens means we are having the lone pair of electrons and also a carbonyl carbon so these lone pair of electrons will move towards the carbonyl carbon and as usual this bond will shift it towards the oxygen and this oxygen will get a negative charge so let's write the structure here here this lone pair of electrons will shift it towards the carbon and it will form a bond with carbon so let's write the nucleophilic attack again nucleophilic attack now we will obtain a structure like this that is c2 h5 coo ch for this carbon is a double bond and c ch3 here is the nitrogen and for this nitrogen there are two hydrogens and here is the carbon and a oxygen with minus charge and here is a ch3 and it is ch2 cl see these two structures are combined now see here the c2h5 coo ch c ch3 and nitrogen 
and two hydrogens that is NH2 here and here is the CO here the bond is shifted and this oxygen will get the negative charge so CO and here is the CH3 and here is the CH2 Cl this is the structure now so the next step is this oxygen will take this hydrogen and form the OH so let's try this structure here that is C2H5COOCH for this carbon double bond is CCH3 and here is the NH and for this carbon COH is attached why because this oxygen is taking the hydrogen now here is the CH3 and CH2 Cl this is the structure we have obtained it now here C2H5COOCH and the C CH3 NH why because one of the hydrogen is taken by the oxygen so this carbon will will bond with OH and is the CH3 this is the structure we have obtained now now the next step is very easy now the removal of water molecule takes place again see here is the one of the hydrogen and this OH will be removed in the form of the H2O so now the, now the structure becomes like this that is C2H5COOCH C CH3 and here is the nitrogen H and the C CH Cl why because one of the hydrogen is removed here is the CH3 is the OH is also removed so we will obtain a structure like this that is C2H5COOCH double bond C CH3 NH and C CH Cl and OH, OH and this hydrogen is removed in the form of water molecule and the CH3 this is the structure we have obtained and the last step of this reaction is we have C HCl is removed that is minus HCl so this hydrogen and this Cl is removed and will obtain the structure of pyrrole now that is C2H5 COOC CH and here is the double bond C double bond C CH3 and it is NH is a CH3 it is the structure of pyrrol C here CH2H5 COO and C and it is the CH C will form a bond by the removal of this HCl and uh, carbon carbon CH3 NH CH3 this is the structure of pyrrol C here is the structure of pyrrol and these are the substituents these are the CH3 CH3 and this C2H5 COO or the substituents present on the pyrrole. Now we have obtained the pyrrole by the synthesis that is Hans synthesis. I have explained this mechanism in the easiest possible. I have explained this mechanism in the easiest way possible. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.